Apocalypse. Hey everybody, Chief here. Um, so, finally happened. iOS got update 5.1, so now I get to show you everything I know about pilots. A um, few days later than the rest of the world, but hey, better late than never. And uh, it seems that there's still a lot of people out there that have questions about pilots. So I'm going to do my best to take you on a step-by-step -step, uh, and give you everything you need to know to set up your pilots or make some decisions on what you want to do with the pilots. Now, one piece of advice I can give you is don't compare yourself to everybody else. Okay, There are some people out there that got pilots as soon as they dropped and maxed them out. You know, not everybody's got that kind of money, not everybody has that kind of resources. Pilots are not designed to be an instant max type of thing. So, you know, take your time, do your best not to get overwhelmed, because there is a lot of information here. But you can do pilots at your own pace. So we'll go ahead and get started here. First thing you want to do is you want to basically just follow the arrows. Um, select the robot, upper left, select the... Uh, area for the pilots um, and everybody got one free pilot he's level one but you know what even a level one pilot still gets an ability all right and he's ready to train now right next to that you can click the training center this is where you're going to find available pilots that you can buy or hire now you see here they range from 100 gold to 2500 gold for the legendary now, I'll get more into the legendary pilots in a little bit, but, you know, taking a look at him, this is Tobias. He comes uh, ready for the bulwark, um, and he has a special ability that is only for the bulwark, and it's preset. You cannot change this, and that's kind of a key. All right, but when we take a look at some of the regular pilots, we'll take a look here at Dimitri. He is ready to learn a skill as well, but you get to choose this skill. So don't get too wrapped up in, you know, legendary versus regular pilots, because in the end, both of them will give you seven abilities when they're fully leveled up. Okay, now we'll take a little bit more of a look here at the different legendary pilots that are available. So when you're looking at the pilots, you can click the uh, arrow the down arrow next to their name and it will show you what abilities they have already learned okay and it'll give you the percentage of effect that those have now if you want to get a little bit more information about them all you have to do is click on the I or information um, and here is a League of Renner it is for the Aljun and the Aljun deals increased ability damage and it starts at 5% um, you got uh, Kyle Rogers here. He is for the Inquisitor, and he's got the ability Kyle's Gizmo, which basically is a constant heal for the uh, Inquisitor. You've got Minji Novak. She is for the Ares, and she deals increased weapon damage for 30 seconds after the uh, Ares falls below 50% health. And it starts out at 1%, and at, at max it will go to 10%. Uh, you got Stanislav Chen. Uh, he is the invader pilot, for the legendary invader pilot, and uh, he gives increased suppression effect for the invader. And finally, uh, Tobias, and he is for the bulwark, and he makes all active modules for the bulwark recharge faster. Now, my personal opinion, 
the legendary pilot's base effect is not necessarily the best, in my opinion. So, you know, personally, I'm not going to go for all the legendary pilots. I think there's one or two that might be worth the cost, but most of them, in my opinion, are not. But that's really for you to decide. Okay, so if you have the gold and you really want the legendary pilot, go for it. If not, you know, go for the regular ones. Now, underneath, you see here, um, I was able to refresh. Okay, when you get an offer for pilots, there's three pilots, and the offer is good for 12 hours. After 12 hours, they'll automatically refresh, and you'll get three new pilots to choose from if you want. But you can skip that by paying 50 gold. Now, some of the pilots will come with a higher level. Okay, not rank, but higher level. Okay, so I went ahead and I just picked this one up. Level 8, it's not bad to start off. It'll save me a little bit, um, but the levels you gain anyway just from having them in your hangar when you play. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. She's assigned to the Blitz, and by default, the skill that popped up was Adamant Ro Roadhog. Um, enemy team controls three or more beacons the blitz goes faster okay and it's at 16 percent uh increased speed and uh i can go up uh, two more levels since uh, it's level eight so it'll be a total of 20 percent but i'm not really looking for that so i can retrain that okay and that's what's kind of cool about the regular pilots vice the legendary the legendary you cannot retrain but you can on the regular ones now i'm going to go ahead and take a look um, just to go over this with everybody now, I'll just do it with this one robot. Um, we're going to take a look at the available skills. Now there's robot skills and weapon skills, and there is a pretty big list. Now not all of these interest me. There's a few of them that really do interest me. So I'm just going to kind of take a mental note over the ones that I think I might like. Something that goes with my play style or something that I think uh, might be more desirable for when I'm playing in a squad or if I play a lot of solo or free-for-all, whatever the case may be, that's really for you to decide, you know. Uh, some of these skills are dependent um, and temporary, and some of them are permanent and always available. So that's another thing to look at. Do you really want a skill that is only available when the enemy team has three beacons, or if such and such happens, or do you want a skill that is always available? Maybe it's a health boost, or maybe it's a damage boost. Whatever it is, that's really up to you. And that's why I say you got to kind of take your time. Don't get overwhelmed with this, because there is so much to choose from. But it can get a little costly if you play around with it you know, too much, or you choose something and you decide later on, oh, well, I don't really like it, I want something else. But at any case, yeah, you could pay the, the 1000 and just choose the exact ability you want. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend if you get an ability you really don't want, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll a random ability. It's 50 gold every roll. And, you know, for less than 1000 gold, I can get a lot of options that are going to pop up. And most likely I'm going to find something that does interest me. So... That's one way to try and save a little bit of gold. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much the, the list of the abilities there for the Blitz. Now, each robot is going to be a little bit different. Not every ability is available for every robot, um, and not every uh, boost is available for every weapon. But now we're going to take a look at the weapons. I have shotgun weapons equipped here. So, you know, these kind of interest me more than some of the other abilities. So if one of these pop, pops up on the random, I might go for that. Um, another thing, if you have a lot of robots and you like to switch things out a lot, you might want to decide, okay, I'm going to put all the abilities of a pilot that are robot-based or all of them that are weapon-based. That way you can kind of make adjustments on the fly without really being penalized. Okay, so now I'm just rolling. And, you know, these really so far haven't 
haven't really interested me. They're not what I'm looking for. So now I'm looking at, you know, I've uh, spent about uh, 200 gold now to roll some randoms. And there we go. I get Sharpshooter Gust. Gust uh, gets uh, increased shot grouping. Um, that's really desirable for me. That means my Gust is going to do more damage at a farther uh, range. Okay, So I really like that ability. And now, um, let me see, I, I'm probably going to pick up another pilot, um, and I'm going to kind of show you why I'm doing that. Instead of just buying five pilots, you know, right away or looking for all of my pilots, um, I'm going to show you a little trick here that uh, lets you get some other pilots uh, that might be higher rank. So... Okay, I uh, get a little bit of free gold here because I equipped one and because I chose a skill for it. So, you know, that makes up a little bit of the cost uh, that I had with uh, with uh, retraining. But now I've got a pilot assigned to my nemesis. He's uh, only level one, but he still gets an ability. Um, and the one that it opened up with is Adamant Guardian. Uh, not really something that interests me. Uh, personally, I just I don't really want want an ability that's dependent on beacons. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, roll a random here, and right well right off I get the uh, ability that I really like, Sharpshooter for the storm. Okay, so once again that's uh, increased shot grouping. Um, so that's really going to help with uh, increasing damage overall with my uh, storm weapon. And I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to use gold here and just get him trained up. Now, you don't have to do this. You can get this XP just by playing with him in your hangar. So if you're short on gold, skip this part. You don't want to do it. Um, for the most part, the XP will come. It's not going to take too long. And uh, you can get basically all of these levels for free. The one thing that isn't going to be free that you do have to pay gold for, though, is when you rank the pilot up, bring him up to the next rank. Okay, And... Here we are, uh, he's at level 10, so to go to level 11, it cost me 500 gold to promote him. Okay, But what that does is that unlocks a second ability. So I want to uh, go ahead and do that. You pay the gold, and it gives you a, a base one to start with. Um, once again, it's not one that I'm really interested in. And uh, I'm just going to roll some randoms here and uh, try and find something that... Uh, I like. Okay, so uh, first roll, uh, not something that interests me, so I'm just going to kind of
Um, here we go. A uh, couple of retrains on here and uh, get something that's uh, a little more suitable. Okay, Corona deals increased damage. Uh, it's uh, that's one that I want, but uh, I think uh, early in the training here, I think uh, let, let me go ahead and uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll try for the uh, sharpshooter. So uh, a couple of more rolls here, and uh, I need a little more luck. Come on, guys. There we go. Okay, Sharpshooter Corona. Um, and it certainly didn't cost me a thousand gold to get the one that I wanted. Um, so there we go. Uh, he's uh, level 21. He's got uh, three abilities that I'm really happy with. Um, and uh, now when I take a look at uh, some new pilots, um, I should have some being offered to me that are uh, at sergeant level, you know, their, uh, their level itself might be lower, um, you know, their number level, but, uh, their rank is what's kind of important here, um, because the, uh, their level, uh, will go up as you play, but, uh, you know, see here, the, uh, guy on the right-hand side, he has, a uh, sergeant, uh, already, even though he's level 5. So I'm still going to have to give him some experience in order to uh, add those additional uh, benefits, but it's already it's basically already paid for, and you can see that the uh, cost for him is 1,390 gold, so considerably more expensive than the uh, 100 to 200 gold for the, the base level pilots, but keep in mind He's already got the sergeant paid for, so that's 1,500 gold uh, worth of uh, uh, promotions that's already paid for. So I'm going to show you kind of what I mean here. All right, so right now he has one skill available to train because he's only level 5, even though he is a sergeant. Vulnerable Raider, um, yep, not really uh, the one that I want, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my retraining here, find something uh, more suitable. And now keep in mind, when you're doing this for yourself, uh, you're not going to be doing it. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> Glory does a mad amount of damage already, so I'll take anything that adds to that. But, uh, you know, you're not going to be doing things go uh, third ability uh, Roadha well, as slow as he uh, is speed might be something I do later on but uh, I think there's other things I want uh, instead increase shot group uh, 
got uh, three of my uh, pilots at level 21. Um, uh, you don't really get the uh, additional promotion again until you hit uh, level 31 with three different pilots. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that with you guys here. I'd rather get through the uh, rest of the pilots that I'm going to, uh, to buy, uh, just so you can kind of uh, see how that is. Um, I also haven't really come across another legendary pilot let yet, so um, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll uh, get that. I think I, I, I really want the one for the Aoju. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to pick this guy up or not. Um, no, I'll, I'll pass on him. Um, yeah, see, I, uh, yeah, I don't want to go with, uh, any of these either. Um, even though, uh, you know, cost-wise they're not terrible, but, uh, you know, yeah, see, there you go. To to promote to a t lieutenant, you have to have three of them leveled up to 31. So I'm not quite there yet, and, and that's going to take a little while. But uh, I'd rather get uh, get some more pilots into the hangar first. Oh, okay. So there are some legendary pilots. Pulled three of them up at once. Um, I uh, want uh, Alika here for sure. It's the uh, Out June pilot. Um, Stanislav is the invader. Uh, I do have an invader, and that's the other one that uh, I'm interested in. Um, those are the two, personally, that I want to get. But uh, as I don't uh, frequently run my invader in my main hangar, uh, I think I will pass on him, and I will pick up Alika. And there she is in her new home. And uh, you can see the ability here. Aljun deals increased ability damage. Uh, Aljun is really strong already, so yet I will take more and more of that. So 15% more ability damage uh, to start off with. That's pretty nice. Um, I did have to pay for the promotion here. Um, uh, it, it looks like the legendary pilots uh, are pretty much... Um, only level one, uh, so I mean, maybe some of them can come at a higher rank, I'm not sure, and I, I'm not sure if that's going to affect their price, but I haven't seen that happen yet. Um, Roadhog on the Al June. Uh, I mean, I could see some benefit to increased speed because his ground speed is really slow, but... Uh, don't think I want that for one of the uh, early abilities, so kind of just gonna skim over uh, what is available here and uh, kind of see if there's something that I'm wanting. Um, I might primarily go with uh, damage for uh, this robot. We'll see. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the healing. Would be okay. Um, and I definitely want to, uh, to take a look at the uh, options for the uh, weapons um, for the Aljun as well. Uh, currently I have my uh, MK2 level 12 Avengers um, equipped, so they're already pretty strong, but uh, we'll see. Um, Increased damage would be nice. Yeah, all of these are, are pretty nice. The uh, speed shooter one uh, increases the rate of fire. That doesn't actually increase the rate of fire that the bullets shoot out, but I believe that increases the uh, uh, rate that it uh, ramps up to its uh, increased firing rate that it already has. But uh, let me go ahead and throw a random roll on here and see what I, uh, what I can get. Okay, uh, this one's not bad. After activating its ability, uh, you uh, get a heal, and when that's maxed out, it's 7.5% uh, heal. So, uh, you know, 
that uh, I think will work good for, for how I play the Aojun. Um, now, if some people uh, use their Aojun for a beacon capper, maybe you know some of the other options for you know when you capture a beacon, you might get you know um, damage resistance or something like that. Then you know maybe uh, maybe that could be an option for you. Uh, let me pick up uh, one more pilot here to uh, finish out my hangar. Uh, I definitely want to get. Uh, Yep, I will just go ahead and pick him up. Um, he's uh, already level 12 and a sergeant, so uh, he can uh, already uh, right away train uh, two different skills. Sharpshooter glory. Uh, yes, thank you. I will take that. I love my glory. Uh, <laughs> glories do some really good damage. Um, I really enjoy playing with them. Um, roll a couple of uh, randoms here, see what I can pick up. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's uh, too interesting for me. Um, I really want to stay away from most of the uh, module uh, type of skills because, uh, you know, I go through enough uh, power cells as, as it is. I don't really need to, uh, to be... Uh, going through them faster. Hades has increased speed. That's uh, that's not a bad one. Maybe uh, maybe down the road I'll, I'll pick that one. Okay. Uh, wants to just offer me a bunch of module. Okay. Sharpshooter Halo. Uh, that is a uh, an excellent skill to have. Now, uh, since uh, he's already a sergeant, let me go ahead and uh, level him up and uh, unlock his sergeant level skill. And let's see what it offers. Raider Gunsmith, after capturing a beacon, yep, nope, as soon as it says capturing a beacon or... <sighs> Holding beacons, uh, yeah, I'm going to skip those. That's just not really my interest. But, uh, you know, everybody's different. And that's what kind of kind of makes uh, these pilots uh, r really kind of cool. Oh, Sharpshooter Gust, I got that. I, uh, I run uh, a lockdown and a, a kinetic version of all the shotguns on, my, uh, uh, on each of my bots. Um, so having both of those skills is uh, pretty handy. So now uh, looks like I've got uh, all of my pilots. Now let me just uh, finish leveling this.
the apocalypse. <laughs> 